So this morning we are going to take our kefir, which has kind of separated into curds and whey, and we are going to get the grains out from it. So you can see in there, you can see the grains on top. You're going to take, now sometimes I put it into my Vitamix directly, but I have too much. So I've started putting it into a bowl and then putting the bowl in the fridge. So this is my colander that I'm separating. So what we're going to do is pour it all in. Oops. Some came out. I like to scrape the bottle. Soraya, if you can come over here and take a picture of inside. So this is what it looks like, and you just move this around. You'll start to see the big granules. See that? It's coming out. You can see it dripping. All right, so I have everything out, and it's just left with these big, huge grains that I have. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a new, I like to get a new glass bottle. I know some people that don't get new glass bottles, but I'm going to use the new glass bottle. So I always have one clean one coming. And then you throw these in there. So these are your grains. This is what eats the sugar in the milk and creates the kefir. You should get that in there. We get the milk. Now this bottle is a canning jar, so it has things over here. I have way too many grains, I actually need to get rid of some. But I'm going to fill this up with milk. This is whole organic milk, and it has Pasteurization is just regular. You don't want ultra pasteurized. Pause. All right, next thing we do is I get a coffee filter. My friend Teresa. Okay. And then you just you can either put the canning lid back on or you can use a rubber band to secure it. And then I just put mine next to my Vitamix here. And then what's left is all the kefir. And that's quite a bit of kefir. That's about six cups of kefir. Then we're going to take the kefir. I put a cover on. These are shower caps I get from the dollar store. No big deal. And then we put it in the fridge. Action. All right, so I have my kefir and my Vitamix. I like to put one fresh banana in. Make sure it's pretty yellow. The green ones don't add any flavor. I have frozen pineapple chunks, a berry mix, and another fruit mix. And we're just gonna add them in. So I add a little bit of sugar in mine. You don't have to if you don't want to. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start this and then start adding the berries.
get to a point where the fruit is stuck at the top, just use your dealio to get it to like to let it go until the top is freely moving so that you can actually pour it. Awesome. Alright, so we have our kefir. It's spinning by itself on the top. So that means we're all done. And now... We can enjoy nice big glass of kefir. Here you have it. Bottoms up. <laughs>